Hi, Mr. Field Tactics again. We're going to do a how to play video here. We're going to describe how you play Field Tactics. It's a new exciting strategy game, and this is kind of the game in a nutshell. Now, I'm going to describe four types of shots because there are four shots in the game. And when I describe these shots, you'll kind of understand the game. First of all, the object of the game. There's a black team over here and a red team over here. The three balls, each, each team has three balls. The object of the game is to capture all three of your opponent's balls. When that's done, you've won the game. Now there's four shots. There's the placement shot, the capture shot, the rescue shot, and the peg shot. And we'll go through those right now. Now the placement shot is how you start the game up. As I explained in my earlier video, you form your home bases here at the beginning of the game. You form your home base, you use the map and quickly demonstrate the image. You just put your battle down, form your home base, form your triangle, and then you're ready to go. Okay, after you've formed your home bases, you're ready to start the game. Remember, there's the placement shot, capture, rescue, and peg shot. So typically you would start the game out with the placement shot, which is used to strategically place yourself on the battlefield. Uh, David's going to uh, demonstrate a placement shot. Okay, now after David hit his ball, now obviously it's the red turn's team, uh, the red team's turn. So Mitch here is going to take his placement shot. Now you use these placement shots to strategically place yourself on the playing field. Now eventually you will get to a capture shot, and that's what we're going to talk about next. Okay, after you've taken your placement shots, you're going to eventually get to a capture shot. And a capture shot is when you simply hit one of your balls against the opponent's balls. Here, we'll demonstrate one over here. David has obviously lined himself up with the capture shot here. He's going to hit his black ball, and hopefully he's going to hit the red ball. Good. Right there, he's made a successful capture shot. So now he's going to pick up the red ball, and he'll place it in his prison. You measure off the red mark on the 35 foot roll, and he places the red ball in prison. So that's one capture ball for the black team, and he's going to use his uh, scoring ring to move it to the number one position. So that, not, that indicates now he has one capture. Now the black team had captured one of the red balls. So now we have a red ball in prison. So, that, so you have the placement shot, the capture shot. Now we're going to demonstrate a rescue shot. So now that we have a red ball in prison, we'll go down over here. And now Mitch is going to demonstrate how he's going to rescue one of his balls. Hold up, Mitch. So what, what happens here, his ball is in prison. Now he has to take one of his three balls and hit that against the one in prison. And this, this shot has to be called. He has to call rescue shot. As the capture shot, you also have to call that. You have to call the capture shot, you have to call the rescue shot, and you have to indicate which ball you're going to hit. So Mitch is going to call the rescue shot here, he's going to go ahead and rescue his ball. Okay, now he just rescued this ball in prison. So now what you have to do is you have to clear each ball. So he's going to take a clearing shot on each ball. So after you rescue your ball, you have to take two clearing shots, one on each ball. But what the clearing shot is, it's really just a placement shot, and you use it only to get yourself out of the area uh, and put yourself in strategic areas again. So right now he's going to demonstrate how he clears his ball here. Now, he can clear his balls anywhere he wanted to. He can put one in the corner over here, put one over here. You know, there's strategic areas where you want to place your balls. And uh, sometimes you just want to go uh, just a little ways so that you're here, so that you can protect this area. So once you, you have another ball in prison, you're able to rescue that ball right away. Now, let me use your battle here. There's one, there's a couple of rules in the rescue shot. Mitch, can you go get those balls for me there? Um, First rule is, is that when you clear the balls after the rescue shot, the, 
clearing shot has to at least travel a mile in length. Okay? So you can't just tap the ball and call that a clearing shot. It has to at least travel a mile in length. That's so that you at least have to move your ball so you're not just tapping here so you're planted right here again to rescue another ball. At least you have to move it. There's another rule here. We'll, we'll say uh, this ball's in prison. When you call the rescue shot, you can't miss the rescue ball and go out of bounds. Because if that happens, it's called a failed rescue shot. And that ball that just went out of bounds is penalized and comes back as a captured ball. So now you would have two captured ball and balls in prison. And this rule is, is in the game so that you don't just blast away from across the playing field and hope to rescue one of your balls. This forces you to kind of come in here and make a decent shot. So that's the rescue shot. Now we'll go over the peg shot. Now the peg shot is uh, after you've captured three balls. We'll say Mitchell captured three of David's balls. Either he won the game because he didn't, David didn't rescue any of his balls. So all the balls would be captured. But if David had rescued some balls during the game, the game would still be going. Mitchell would have three uh, captures, but the game wouldn't be over. Then Mitchell earns his bonus peg. Now these are indoor pegs. Normally we have pegs in the pond in the grass outside, but again it's March and snow outside. So we're going to use these indoor bonus pegs. So Mitchell would earn his peg and he'd be able to place it anywhere he wants to on the field. Go ahead and place it, Mitch. So he places it there. It could be there, it could be anywhere. So now this comes to our fourth shot. It's called the peg shot. And you use the peg shot to earn bonus points. So it, we'll just say the game continued. Mitch has gotten three captures. David has rescued some balls. Mitch has now gained his bonus peg, and he's called the peg shot. So he's going to call that shot, and he's going to hit, try to hit his free ball against the peg. Okay, he just made a successful peg shot. Now he can take, now he gets two bonus shots with this ball that just hit the peg. He can take two shots uh, from where the ball landed after it hit the peg, or say the ball went somewhere where he doesn't like, he can bring the ball back to the peg and take his uh, bonus shots anywhere uh, one head length from around the peg. So we'll say he takes it here. Okay? Now he's, he's got two bonus shots. So we got a, a David's ball over here. So Mitch is gonna, has two shots to go and capture that ball now. Okay, obviously you want the ball to be in a close proximity of the ball you're trying to capture. This isn't too bad, but it's still maybe a little far away. So now Mitch has kind of a tough second shot. But go ahead and take it, Mitch. Okay, so he just made his capture. Um, so that, that's what you do there. You get two shots, two bonus shots from the peg once you've earned the peg. And it's, it's, it's kind of a big deal to earn the peg because it, it gives you a real powerful weapon in the game. Uh, it usually speeds the game. Once somebody gets the peg, it's going to be over within five shots or so. Okay, that's the game in a nutshell. You first start the game out by forming your home bases. We covered that. You have four shots. You have the placement shot. That's where you place your ball strategically on the court. Then you have the capture shot. Eventually you will come to a, a time in the game when you will capture your opponent. You'll call a capture shot, hit your free ball against their ball. It's captured, it goes in your prison. We covered how you, you form your prison and put the ball in prison. And the, 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 the game keeps going, and eventually you're gonna to wanna to rescue one of your balls out of prison. And if you, if you do that, it's called the rescue shot. We, we uh, described that. We described that you can't, uh, call a rescue shot, miss and go out of bounds. That's a failed rescue shot. And then we also covered the uh, bonus peg shot. So after you've made three captures during the game, you've either won the game because the other guy hasn't rescued any balls, or you've earned your bonus peg. And we covered that. You put your, your peg anywhere you want to on the field, and then you can use that as, as a peg shot. You call a peg shot, hit the peg, you get two additional bonus shots.